you did have to look after yourself so much Sorry. when you were doing that show. I mean, I think it's worth noting that when you left the show, they had to get two people to replace you because it's such a big thing. When it was done, when you when you oh. when you had your final curtain call, yeah. what did you do to celebrate? Well, the night of, I had all like a uh, forty of my friends. We rented out this big karaoke room in New York, and I just picked like only songs that were way out of my range. So I could just like shred nice. my chords and just really abuse them because I'd been so delicate with them up until that point. And then I went home and I ordered Panda Express via Postmates. Wow. Um, Panda Express is my crack. Like I only have it usually on my birthday because if I have it too much, I think it would like slowly become an addiction. And uh, and then I binge Stranger Things like from beginning to end. That. that that first morning, I just stayed in my bed. So catatonic. basically, you finished an unbelievably <laughs> successful Tony and Grammy award-winning run on Broadway by living like a student. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> that's that's, that's what much. happened. Yeah, I skipped I mean, college. So. Zach, you've been on Broadway. Yes. Did you ever? Did you ever reduce an audience member to tears? Absolutely to not. Uh, hug I, Eric McCormack. I, I, I never saw. I never looked out and saw anyone crying in Eric McCormack's arms. But I. I did, I did remember, uh, I was doing Bullets Over Broadway, and, and you can only see the front Which row. Which I saw, and you were very fantastic. Oh, again. thank you, Ben. Really fantastic. <laughs> you guys didn't see it. <laughs> um, no, but um, I, I, I remember once looking down, and some, a woman in the front row was fast asleep during the first act. And it's a very loud show, tap yes. dancing in a big orchestra. Say, it's big. Yeah. And, and so it's very hard to play when there's someone asleep in the front row. So at, at, at intermission, I asked one of the ushers to bring her a Red Bull. And when I got out there the second act, she had been, she had been, you know those cushions they have for kids, yes. uh, just so they can get a little higher? Yeah. They had sort of, her family had put the cushion so she was sitting upright. She had sunglasses on like Weekend at Bernie's. <laughs> <laughs> and she had the Red Bull. So she was still asleep, but the family had sort of propped her up. That's respectful. So it looked like she was watching the show. <laughs> oh my God. And yes. then once you see someone like that, it's impossible Ugh. to take your eyes off them I watched her the whole show. I'm sure you had that. Do of you have course. distracting people on your show? Oh, of course. There's always people, especially kids, because the front row is usually kids. And there's a lot of kids just like really chattering, like who have really no concept of what a Broadway show really is, who are just kind of there for the Instagram, essentially. Right. Um, just like really just loudly, loudly chattering. And any opportunity that I had to either spit on them, stare at them, sneeze right. on them, I took happily. <laughs>